The Large Hadron Collider is one of the wonders of the modern world. It's believed to be the largest and most complex machine mankind has ever created. A $9 billion machine buried under Europe. Black holes, strangelets, even parallel universes? Sounds like science fiction, right? Yet the Large Hadron Collider is very real. Its power unlike anything humanity has ever built. It promises answers about the universe's birth, but whispers of doomsday haunt its every breakthrough. This is what the inside of the detector looks like. It's stuffed with magnets, electronics, and sensors. If you've wondered if science can push too far, this story will pull you to the edge. Today, we dive into the collider that could unlock creation or gamble with existence itself. Birth of a monster machine, the Large Hadron Collider began as a dream to answer questions that smaller accelerators could not. By the late 20th century, physicists already knew that protons and neutrons were not indivisible, but built from quarks. That discovery was made with the help of the Stanford Accelerator in California. You may have a proton here and a proton here, which has a hard what we call scattering, a hard event, and out of that comes out a whole mess of particles. Yet to explore quarks themselves, scientists needed something far stronger, a machine on a scale never attempted before. CERN, the European Research Center near Geneva, took on the challenge. What they built was staggering. A circular tunnel 27 kilometers long was dug deep under farmland and the Swiss-French border. The price reached $9 billion, and the project took a decade with tens of thousands of workers involved. Inside this underground ring sit nearly 10,000 superconducting magnets. To work, they must be kept colder than outer space, only a couple of degrees above absolute zero. For that, the collider consumes almost 100 tons of liquid helium. When switched on, the magnets steer beams of protons around the ring at almost the speed of light. At those speeds, two colliding beams release seven tera electron volts of energy focused on particles smaller than atoms, that force turns collisions into windows onto the hidden fabric of reality. First fears, black holes at Geneva. When the first tunnels for the collider were dug, not everyone was excited. A few scientists worried that smashing protons at such speeds might open doors we were not ready for. One of them was Martin Rees, a respected British astrophysicist. He warned that the collider could create microscopic black holes. These would not form from collapsing stars, but from energy squeezed into a tiny space. The idea was not new. Stephen Hawking had written that such black holes might exist. According to his theory, they would vanish almost instantly, releasing radiation as they died. Still, the thought of even one forming on Earth was enough to spark fear. CERN quickly dismissed these concerns, saying the collider's energy was far too low. Yet alternative theories claimed it might only take a few billion electron volts to trigger disaster. Newspapers painted frightening pictures. A black hole appears in Geneva, devouring the city, then swallowing Earth in seconds. It sounded impossible, but the question remained, what if? Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Playing with fire, quark gluon, plasma. The Large Hadron Collider was not only built to find black holes. Another goal was even bolder. Scientists wanted to recreate conditions that existed right after the birth of the universe. In those first moments, matter as we know it did not exist. Instead, there was a strange liquid of quarks and gluons, hotter than the core of the sun. To reach this state, researchers did not collide protons, but heavy lead nuclei. Each nucleus carried more than 200 particles inside. When these collided at near light speed, the energy was enough to melt their structure and form quark-gluon plasma. The first success came in 2010. The detectors saw matter behaving like a perfect fluid, flowing smoothly even at unimaginable temperatures. It was a glimpse of the universe in its earliest heartbeat. Still, there was unease. 
In nature, such plasma can survive only in the cores of neutron stars. If even a tiny fragment were stable here on Earth, it could cause explosive reactions. Thankfully, the plasma quickly cooled and broke into ordinary particles. But the risk was never far from thought. The mystery of cosmic inflation. The Big Bang alone cannot explain why the universe looks the way it does. Something else happened in the tiniest fraction of a second after it began. Space itself ballooned at incredible speed, a process now called cosmic inflation. Without it, the universe might have collapsed back into nothing. With it, galaxies and stars had the chance to form. Physicists believe this sudden growth was driven by a hidden field and a particle known as the inflaton. At the dawn of time, this particle tumbled down an invisible energy slope, releasing vast amounts of force that pushed the universe outward. Then it disappeared, leaving behind the cosmos we see today. The puzzle is that no one truly knows the details. Could the collider, with its enormous energy, ever create conditions to bring inflation back? If so, even for a moment, space could expand again in a runaway burst. Some imagine an inflation bomb tearing open new space beneath Geneva. Scientists at CERN say this is impossible. Still, the fact that inflation remains unexplained makes the question unsettling. The God Particle and the False Vacuum In 2012, the Large Hadron Collider gave science one of its greatest rewards. Two research teams announced the discovery of the Higgs boson, often called the God Particle. For decades, physicists had searched for proof of the Higgs field, an invisible force that gives mass to particles. Without it, matter could not exist. The Higgs boson turned out to be heavier than many expected, more than 100 times the mass of a proton. That raised a disturbing possibility. It suggested that the energy state of our universe might not be truly stable. Instead, it could be sitting in what scientists call a false vacuum, a shallow valley that is not the lowest point on the slope. If something ever pushed the Higgs field out of this valley, it could slide downward, releasing all of its trapped energy. That slide would tear apart the laws of physics, changing how atoms interact and leaving no structure behind. CERN believes the chance is vanishingly small, but with billions of collisions every second, the thought lingers. Could one spark trigger the ultimate collapse? Strange matter and contagious particles? In 2022, astronomers reported something unusual. A star left behind after a supernova did not match any known type. It was too dense to be a neutron star, yet too light to be a black hole. The only explanation some experts gave was that it could be a strange star made of a rare form of matter. Strange matter forms when quarks bind together in a way that creates maximum density and minimum energy. If such matter is stable, it can break off into tiny fragments called strangelets. These strangelets could be dangerous because they might convert normal matter into more strange matter, much like a chain reaction. The idea troubled Martin Rees, who had earlier warned about black holes. He suggested that if strangelets were ever created in a collider, they could spread rapidly and shrink Earth into a sphere only 100 meters wide. CERN dismisses this as unlikely. Yet the fact that strange stars may exist in space shows that this exotic substance is more than fantasy. It raises a chilling question. Could experiments someday bring it here? Parallel worlds and the Mandela effect. Not all fears about the collider come from seasoned scientists. A young mind named Max Laughlin once claimed the machine had already broken reality. His theory was bold. He suggested that high energy collisions may have split our universe, pushing us into a parallel version without us noticing. Supporters point to the Mandela effect as proof. This is when large groups of people remember events differently from how history records them. Many swear that Nelson Mandela died in prison in the 1980s, though he actually passed away in 2013. Others recall the Monopoly mascot with a monocle that never existed, or misquote Darth Vader as saying, 
I am your father. To most people, these are simple memory errors. Yet in Laughlin's view, they are glitches. Signs that we slipped sideways into another universe after a collider experiment. The theory fits with the many worlds idea of quantum physics, where each measurement could spin off new realities. It may sound impossible, but it captures the unease. What if the collider is not just probing particles, but shifting us across invisible boundaries of existence? The Future Circular Collider. The Large Hadron. Collider is not the end of the story. At CERN, plans are already drawn for something even larger. It is called the Future Circular Collider. Instead of a 27 kilometer ring, this one would stretch to a full 100 kilometers beneath the ground. Its goal would be to smash particles together at 100 tera electron volts, six times more powerful than today's record. The price tag is breathtaking, around $22 billion, and the timeline reaches to the middle of this century. Supporters say it will let scientists test theories with far greater precision. They hope to find new particles, unlock mysteries of dark matter, and push physics beyond the standard model. But for many outside the labs, the thought is less exciting. If the current collider already raises fears of black holes, plasma bursts, and vacuum collapse, what will a machine six times stronger unleash? Each breakthrough comes with new questions. Are we exploring or are we gambling? The Collider has already reshaped our view of the universe. It proved the Higgs field, revealed new states of matter, and pushed the limits of human engineering. Yet with every success comes a shadow of doubt. Black holes, strange matter, or even a vacuum collapse remain possibilities, however remote. Perhaps they will never happen. Perhaps they already did. And we simply crossed into another version of reality. What matters is that we are balancing discovery with risk. On a scale, unlike any before, should we continue pressing forward or step back before curiosity consumes us all?